Thanks for joining us on this Saturday afternoon where qualifying is about to start here in Austria. So sit back and enjoy the afternoon session. This is going to be an interesting session. Who's going to come out on top in qualifying today? Having spoken to many people in the paddock, no one seems to have an outright winner in mind. It is certainly difficult to predict. I would say it's advantage Mercedes, but you can never rule anything out. I reckon we are probably looking at three or four teams who can realistically fight for pole position today. The pits within the next couple of laps. That's the end of the session for Felipe Massa. His Williams car is too damaged for him to continue. Qualifying two finished. The cars will now be readied in the garages ahead of Q3 to decide who will be on pole for tomorrow's race. Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. 
It's been a mighty qualifying performance from Mercedes today with both cars on the front row for the race tomorrow. Well, both these drivers have been working hard with the team to ensure they get maximum performance out of the car and it looks like they've found the right combination, at least in qualifying trim. Now, we need to see how they get on in the race. Two hours outside of Vienna is Spielberg, a spectacular circuit with dense forests and rolling hills as a backdrop. What a destination for today's race. Time to get ready for the Austrian Grand Prix. Nico Rosberg will want his good fortune to continue on from yesterday's qualifying. He starts the race in P1 and has even said he's expecting to take the chequered flag first. You wouldn't want to bet against him doing just that. He has clean air in front of him, so he'll be hoping he can create a gap over the first few laps. If the cars in second and third can keep close until the first round of pit stops, then they may be able to take advantage on the undercut. Hoping to build on their impressive performance last time out will be Ferrari. The last Grand Prix saw their best result of the season. It's a performance that they'll want to match, or even better, this time out. It was a good performance, but it was just one race. If they want to maximise their potential in the Constructors' Championship, they'll need to produce that kind of form more often between now and the season's end.
position puts us three places off our predictions. Three places down from our objective. What a fantastic result for Sebastian Vettel. He's really performed brilliantly today. It really was a great performance and one that I think will be remembered for a long time to come. That's it for today's Grand Prix and from Antonai, it's goodbye and see you again next time.